collision course. That's what the White House and Congress are on. As of this hour, the House Energy Committee is still waiting for a response to their subpoena for documents regarding Solinder from the White House. At issue, just how involved White House officials were with the selection of that now bankrupt company for a low-cost taxpayer-backed loan. Solyndra being sold now for scrap, and taxpayers are out of a half a billion dollars. It's time the White House came forward with the information Congress is looking for and stopped stonewalling legislators. The White House has nothing to hide. Why not share the information? And a word for Republicans. It's time the program was wound down and the party stopped using Solyndra as campaign fodder before it wastes any more taxpayer dollars, and that's my two cents. So is the administration trying to stonewall the investigation into the solar panel maker? Fox News Chief White House Correspondent Ed Henry joins us now. Ed, what's the latest on this? Well, Jerry, that argument you were just mentioning at the end there, that's what the White House is jumping on and saying, look, uh, they've already turned over 85,000 pages of documents, uh, and they wish that House Republicans were focused right now as much on creating jobs and getting this economy going as focused as they are right now on Solyndra, something that the White House has acknowledged uh, went bad, but they still insist here there was no political malfeasance. Republicans pushing back and saying no. Uh, they may have gotten 85,000 pages of documents, but it's largely Energy Department documents, not really relevant to this and what they want are White House memos that would show whether or not there was any influence by George Kaiser, for example, an Obama fundraiser who was also a big investor in Solyndra. Uh, way back uh, in September when all of this first blew up, Jay Carney insisted from the White House podium that George Kaiser, uh, in his many visits to the White House in, in, over the last couple of years, never lobbied for taxpayer money for Solyndra. Uh, yesterday, an email emerged from George Kaiser himself to a Solyndra board member that seemed to question that, where he talked about meeting with White House folks, talking about Solyndra. I pressed Jay Carney on that discrepancy. Take a listen. One of the emails, he was talking about March 2010, George Kaiser uh, told a board member of Solyndra, um, that he had had a meeting at the White House. He stressed the White House, not the Department of Energy mm -hmm. in the email. He said, Solyndra came up. Every one of them responded simultaneously about their thorough knowledge of the Solyndra story, suggesting it was one of their prime poster children. How does that square with you saying in September, in this very room, that George Kaiser did not lobby on Solyndra at all, uh, and as you put it, quote, he was involved in charitable efforts? Okay, so let's go back to what you just said and what I just said in response to the question. March 2010. Do you remember when the loan was approved? It was after the loan was so approved, but before he was supposedly the loan was lobbying, restructured. But he was supposedly lobbying for a loan that had already been approved almost a year before. So Second, he, was later lobbying he never said in that email or any other discussion, and certainly never said before the Republicans and Democrats in the committee, based on what we know. Uh, in fact, he made quite clear that he never lobbied for the loan. And, uh, you know, this is an effort by Republicans to create a political story out of something that is not providing them what they want, which is any evidence that anything but merit-based decisions were made at the Department of Energy. Well, we at least acknowledge that his, George Kaiser's meetings here were not just about his charity. They were about Solyndra as well. well look, what I, let's go back also, since you're quoting me erroneously. Um, well, that's what you said. Here's what I said. Yeah. Uh, Ed, if I could. I would point you simply to what Joy, George Kaiser himself has said that he did not lobby or discuss. He did not lobby administration for officials with regard to this while uh, with Solyndra. He was involved in a lot of charitable efforts, and it's our understanding that, while we haven't looked into every meeting that he might have had here, that that was the focus of his conversations, generally speaking, at the White House. Okay, you're talking about emails that were not sent to or from here, characterizations of meetings not made by people who were here. What I can point you to is that George Kaiser himself, with the committee, reaffirmed in his words that he never lobbied this administration. So you can see the White House still on the defensive on Solyndra. Uh, Jay Carney, though, making a fair point that the email that Republicans have pounced on, where George Kaiser says he did meet with White House officials and talked, at least, about Solyndra, that was in the spring of 2010, many months uh, after the Solyndra loan was approved. The suggestion by Carney was that there was no lobbying to do. This deal had already been done. But what he's not mentioning uh, is that the loan was later, months later, restructured. Uh, in such a way that taxpayers were put to the back of the line, investors put to the front of the line in case of a default. So Kaiser or others could have been, and I stress could have been, lobbying the White House, the administration, uh, for that restructured deal, which in the end left taxpayers uh, on the lurch for the money that is now gone, Jerry. Well, Ed, that's exactly what we focused on here at the Willis Report, is this whole idea 
uh, of the loans and putting taxpayers at the back of the line. We still have nothing from the White House, right? I'm just checking because I yeah. know we expected something after 5 o'clock. It's 5.05 right now. No, good question. We've gotten nothing so far, but we're getting indications from Democratic officials that later tonight, we're not sure when yet, but later tonight, the White House may turn over more documents to Republicans on the Hill. Now, we would anticipate, based on what's happened in recent weeks, Republicans are, are going to say, because they've said this before, not enough. You're giving us some of the documents, but we want more specifically from the White House. We'll have to wait and see what actually happens now, but that's how it's uh, played out before. And if that's what happens, Republicans are going to say it's not good enough and we are still on a collision course, Jerry. Ed Henry, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now, for more on this, we turn to Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee, who is on the House Energy Committee. Congresswoman, how do you feel tonight? You're being ignored by the White House. Your requests, we're getting nothing yet. What do you say? I think that what you're going to see us continue to do is to make this request. And yesterday, Chairman Stearns and Chairman Upton sent a letter back over to the White House to say, look, the documents that we have seen so far indicate that possibly you had Valerie Jarrett and Ron Klein and Rahm Emanuel and Larry Summers in some way involved in discussions. And we have the email change that shows that uh, Mr. Kaiser, George Kaiser, was involved in some discussions. And Jerry, what we want to do is make certain we get to the bottom of this issue. We need to right. know what happened with Solyndra, but what happened with all of these loan programs and what the vetting process was. Well, and it's certainly interesting, the conversation that was going on in the White House about Solyndra. But from the White House's point right. of view, they're saying, hey, we've given you 85,000 emails. Uh, your requests are just, it's, it's too much. Uh, you're asking for too much information. Yeah. What do you say? I say that, unfortunately, we started last February on this investigation. We finally issued subpoenas in July because we were being stonewalled. And we got around last week to issuing a subpoena on November 3rd for the records from the White House because they were stonewalling. We have tried to talk with them. We've tried to work with them. We have to, we're responsible for finding out what happened, not only with the Solyndra loan, but with all of these other loans and all these programs. And indeed, I've said since September and called since September, for pulling every one of these loans so that we can find out what happened to taxpayer well, money. And, it's, and it's not, not the administration's right. money. It's not just Solyndra. There are a lot of companies that are in these programs and yes, a lot there of are. problems. I want you to hear a, a couple of things about George Kaiser here. This is a fellow who raised money, gave money to the Obama administration in the cross as hairs here. You heard Ed Henry mention him. Here is an email from George Kaiser to a Solyndra board member named Steve Mitchell. He said, by the way, a couple of weeks ago when Ken and I were visiting with a group of administration folks in D.C. who are in charge of the stimulus process, and he specifically says here, White House, not the Department of Energy, and Solyndra came up, every one of them responded simultaneously about their thorough knowledge of the Solyndra story, suggesting it was one of their prime poster children. So we have that, and that's from March 5th in 2010. Then, recently, this right. fall, George Kaiser to an associate. I talked in general about the Chinese and solar, but I didn't want to get too specific with him, meaning President Obama. I never mentioned Solyndra directly. Is this a rewriting of history? What's going on here? Well, I don't know. And we have that email chain beginning in February of 2010 through to October of 2010. And our concern there is that what you have is someone who came in, uh, invested in this company, then pushed to restructure this loan. And certainly, Jerry, as we look at this, our concern is what took place, who all was involved in those conversations, who in the White House was involved in that. Were individuals from the White House involved in Solyndra? Were there discussions of Solyndra's bankruptcy? Were there decisions or awareness that they were going to uh, subordinate the American people when they restructured this loan? All of this says who knew what when how much was the White House involved? If they would just help us with the documents, then well, we can clear this and make certain it never happens again. Congresswoman, uh, uh, one of our producers uh, just called uh, the committee yet again to check and see if the committee's received any of these emails, any response from the White House. You still have no response. Uh, it's after 5 now, 5.10. We're still waiting. 
And, you know, frankly, yes. this is becoming more and more outrageous by the hour because originally we thought this information yes, would be out right. at noon. Well, you're exactly right. If they have nothing to hide, then give us the documents that we need so we can continue our investigation. We have worked on this since February. We want to clean these programs up so that we can stop throwing this money. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's taxpayer money. It has to be shut down. And all of these loan programs, yes, you're right. You've got to shut these things down, and you've got to stop these programs right. and put an end to it. We've got to figure it out, and we're going to stay behind the White House until they give well, us what we need. You could have a very long wait. Congresswoman Blackburn, It may be, you. but we'll keep working. Thank right. you, Jerry. All right. Now, here's your chance to weigh in on the issue. Our question of the day, is the White House stonewalling on Solyndra? Log on to jerrywillis.com, vote on the right-hand side of your screen, and of course, as always, we'll share the results at the end of tonight's show.